Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you three science experiments you can do with an egg that seem impossible, but they actually work. The first one is, is to boil eggs without cooking them. The next one is to balance an egg on its end without it tipping over. And then the third one is to cook an egg without heating it. So first I'll show you all three of these experiments and then I'll explain the science behind how they work. So first I'm going to be boiling some eggs without cooking them. So let's get some eggs in here. Two. Okay, now let's go put it in my special microwave. Okay, let's put it in the microwave. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Well, I see some bubbles starting to form in it. What is going on? Okay, it's sure bubbling. But it doesn't look like it's cooking. Okay, the eggs are totally boiling now. Look at the eggs boil, but they're not cooking. This is weird. It's really getting fogged up in there with all the steam, but it still looks like the eggs aren't cooking. Okay, let's open up the microwave and see what they look like. Okay. Not cooked at all. <laughs> so this is just one of the egg yolks that broke, but it's definitely not cooked. Okay, so what was my special microwave? It was just my vacuum chamber. So how I boiled the eggs is I just put them in my vacuum chamber and turned it on, and as the pressure lowered, that made the boiling point of the eggs decrease as well. And so the boiling temperature decreased until they were able to boil at room temperature. And because they weren't at high heat, even though they were boiling, they weren't denaturing. And so they weren't hardening and turning white. So in this experiment, I'll show you how to balance an egg on its end. Do you think it's actually possible to balance an egg up on its end like this? Well, I'll show you how to do it. So you start by putting some salt down and spread the salt so it's in one layer, not piled on top of each other. And then set the egg on it upright. And if you get it in just the right spot, it'll stay up. There we go. And then you just blow the salt off. So now the only salt that should be left under there is around three or four grains of it. And those are the ones that are holding up the whole weight of the egg. And they're spaced so that the center of the mass of the egg stays right in the center of the grains of salt. If you just knock it off a little bit, then it falls over. And you might be able to see there's around one, two, three, four, five, six grains of salt there that was holding it up. Okay, now let's see how to cook an egg without heating it. So I'm going to be cooking an egg until it's totally white without heat whatsoever. Okay, I'm going to be cooking the egg without heat in this pan here. So we'll measure the temperature of the liquid in the pan here. Around 17.8 degrees Celsius for Fahrenheit. For Fahrenheit, we have 64.6 .6 Fahrenheit. So this is kind of cold in here, not warm, around room temperature. Okay, let's break our egg open here. OK, 
Okay, here we go. See what happens here. You can see the temperature is still 64.9 Fahrenheit. It's totally hardened and it's at 64 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's not warm at all. Okay, it's still at 64.5 degrees Fahrenheit and it's looking pretty cooked in there. Okay, let's see if we can grab our egg. Here we go. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, there you go. And there we go, cooking an egg without heating it whatsoever. So you can see this isn't hot at all. So what's going on here? How are we able to cook and coagulate this egg without heating it? Well, the key is in this liquid here. So first what we do is pour in some alcohol. And so alcohol denatures the proteins of eggs. Denature means that it kind of spreads out and unfolds the protein and that makes all of the proteins get caught together and it coagulates the egg until it's a kind of a solid mass. That's exactly what happens during cooking as well. When you heat up an egg, it also denatures the protein. So there's kind of two ways that you can denature the protein of egg. One of them is through heating and the other one is through a use of some polar molecule like an alcohol. This would also work if you used, instead of alcohol, if you used some sort of acid, a strong acid. It would also denature the egg. The same thing happens when you put milk in acid. That milk coagulates the same way it does as if you were to heat the milk. Now what we just saw there with the egg is the same reason why hand sanitizer can kill the bacteria and viruses on your hand. Remember that heat kills bacteria, that's why when you boil water it can usually make it a little more sanitary because it's killing the bacteria or some of the viruses that are in the water. Well the same thing happens when you put hand sanitizer on your hands. Basically it's like cooking the bacteria and viruses on your hand without heat. Because the alcohol that's on there, it denatures the proteins on the outer coating, the membranes of the viruses and the bacteria. It denatures the proteins and it can rupture the, their cell membranes and everything. And so that's how hand sanitizer works, is basically just denaturing the proteins of anything bad that's on your hands. And because your hands have a dead layer of skin cells on them, it doesn't too, do much to your own cell membranes, luckily. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and leave me any comments or questions that you have in the comment section and I'll try to get to them. And head over to theactionlab.com to check out the new Action Lab subscription box. It's a vacuum chamber box where you can do experiments similar to the ones that you see me do in my own vacuum chamber here. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.